All right, so one person bottom, one person top, okay? So you're gonna get the, the lasso, all right? You're gonna play the lasso guard, the spider guard, okay? So you can get a, a lasso with the foot in, like this, or you can get a shallow lasso with the foot like this, okay? Um, the difference between both lassos, for example, if I'm here with this lasso, the shallow lasso, and my opponent start like, Throwing my leg to the side, start passing my guard. It's easier for me to keep him away from me, okay? So I can push him and then recover the guard, okay? I can have also the collar grip, okay? Or uh, the pant grip, okay? But if I'm controlling the pants, it's really hard for you to move to the side, okay? Once I control the leg here, try to move to the side, it's really hard. Even like with him like passing my legs like this, okay, I can still push him and then recover the guard, okay? If I got a, a deeper lasso, like this, okay? If my opponent get on the side, right? Now it's hard for me to push him away with my legs, you see? So now I gotta use my arms, okay? Especially this one. But you see how I'm start like closing this space and my foot is like outside. So now it's easier for him to smash me. Even like as a knee cut, go for a knee cut, start, like this, you see, I can't push him. It's really hard, all right? So I suggest you, to play more like this, okay? It's not wrong to play like that, all right? But this one here is gonna be more effective in a way of keeping the distance, all right? So if you try to knee cut right now, it's gonna be uncomfortable. So I can easily like push him away. Plus, the shallow lasso here also help me to attack the Moplata really fast, you see? So if I have the deep lasso, I can't shoot on a plata here. The only way for me to shoot on a plata is letting go the sleeve, grabbing the tricep, and then keep my leg in, and then get the omoplata. But by letting go my grip, okay, here he can take the arm out and then start like moving, okay? So if I have the shallow lasso, now look, I can simply just like slide my leg over his arm and, and attack the omoplata, or, for example, if I attack triangles, right? I can simply go for a triangle like this with a shallow lasso. And deep lasso, right? If I try to shoot a triangle, same thing. Two ways for me to shoot is like putting one leg over, letting go the grip, bring his tricep towards you, and then shoot a leg through. So you need to let go the grip, okay? Or you need to undo the lasso to go for the triangle, okay? It's gonna take uh, more time for you. So having this one here, it's better, okay? It's better. It's, like I say, it's not wrong to play like this. Depends what you're gonna do, okay? So for now, we're gonna be playing like this, okay? He's gonna move to the side, move to the side. I'll push him away. He's gonna try to step over my leg, okay? I'll keep him away, that's my guard. If you pass my guard, I recover, and I'll do my best to control his leg here on this side, okay? If I can control this leg here, I can secure more uh, the position, and it's harder for him to move. Plus, with this grip here, I can go for like X guards, right, like this. I can go for the trip right here, like just put my foot right here, okay? I can go to the platas as well, just as I mentioned before. All right, um, if your opponent start passing to the side of the lasso, yeah, that can be hard for me, but it's still, I can keep my foot here. And you see, like, if I keep my grip, it's really hard for me to pass my guard because he needs this hand that I'm controlling to grab my head. So if I let go, he's gonna control my collar, grab my head, that's my guard, okay? So when somebody is moving to the side of the lasso, don't panic. So if you hear he's moving to the side of the lasso, don't panic like oh, letting go to try to recover the guard, okay? Just maintain your grip here, okay? Maintain it towards your chest. And you see like one thing that Isaiah will try to do, he's gonna try to duck under my, my foot like this. So now it's harder for me to push him, you see? So now he can move to the side and then he can start passing my guard. So my goal is when he's Moving towards the side of my lasso here. Go, let's try to duck under. I don't let him duck under my foot, okay? So I keep, I keep my heel like low, 
right? Don't, let, don't extend your leg like this. Don't relax your leg, okay? And also, Nisaru tried to use his forearm against my, my hamstring. So you see, like, my foot goes away from his shoulder, okay? That's why having the collar grip is going to be a good control because now if you try to duck under like that, my foot gets stuck. But if I don't have the grip, make sure you, you move your foot down, but not like under his arm. Because if he goes under the arm, he's going to smash you. Or if he goes here, he's going to start going for the knee cuts and he's going to put your uh, thigh under his armpit. You see? So you need the foot right here. Okay? Just like that. So what are you gonna do now? We're just gonna control. He's gonna move to one side, he's gonna move to the other side. He's gonna break this grip, but never this grip. Okay? If I allow my opponent to break this grip like this, now I'll be in trouble. So it's gonna be harder for me to control. Okay. Oh professor, what about when he he uh, turned his hand behind my leg? like this, okay, because that happened, now I, I have no control. And I feel I still have the grip, but it's hard for me to control. So I'm not gonna do this, let go of the grip to try to grab it. Because if I do that, turn her hand, if I do that, he's gonna throw by. And then I have no grip, so now I see, he start attacking my back, okay? If you don't do the lasso like this, okay, I need to take my lasso really fast out pull his hand inside, and then go back immediately, okay? So just undo, pull the arm in, and then put the, play, uh, the foot right there in the same spot again, okay? Turn, especially, go, especially when he's turning like this, turn, 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 turn your hand. He's turning his hand out like this. I control the pins. If I have the pins, even better. So take that out, pull, and then go back here. So our goal is to be, uh, it's gonna be like controlling, uh, the lasso with the hand, the other grip on the pants, okay? Like a spider grip. So I have two spider grips, one and then two, okay? Right here. This foot right here, okay? I can put the, place the foot on his bicep, all right? Or the la heel, okay? So with this leg here, I can go one, two, three, okay? I can go X guard, de la Riva, foot on the, on the bicep, okay? And we're gonna work with all three. So if we, if we start moving, go to start. Go. I place my foot there again. Go, just stay here. De la Riva. Lasso. You see, even with the lasso, it's harder for him to, to get close to me because I have the foot right there, okay? So if I'm here, he can probably like start putting the weight on me like this. Okay, go back. So here. Sorry. All right, and then once you get the X guard, you go back again. Move. Just stay here. Go back. Okay. And now I can set up a sweep here. Okay. There's different ways for me to sweep my opponent to here. All right. And one way really easy to do here is posting my foot on his hip, bringing my kneecap underneath of him, and then forcing his shoulder to go to the mat and push him, okay? So once I get here, look, I pass this leg under his tricep, okay? So I can come up, kind of like with the knee on belly, controlling here, okay? Don't let go the grips to come up, okay? And now he's his turn. So now you guys understand the concept why you put the foot here, right? There's a reason for you to play like this, okay? This side, controlling, X guard, come up, go back. But before you sweep, I want to see more this, go this side. Go for the regular X guard, go back, okay? Just keep like this, put on the hip, one, two, and then three, and then go back and forth like that. That's the warm up. Very smooth, 30%, right? We're still warming up. Any question? All right, let's go one, two, three. When I post the foot on the, on the shoulder right here, or on his hat, right? 
Uh, I need to feel his body, okay? I cannot be like with my foot just like this on the bicep here, okay? So it's better on the path, okay? And pull his hand in, in a way that he cannot turn the hand outside. So if I keep the hand right here, it's easier for him to move the hand outside and grab outside of my pants, and now he can throw by. You can start drag me here, okay? So make sure you pull his hand, and his hand is pretty much touching your rib right here, okay? So that way if you try to turn the hand, you keep a nice pull. Don't let him turn the hand. So every time the back of your hand starts touching your hamstring, so it's easier for him to turn the hand outside. So your knuckles must be like on this side of your thigh, okay, on your quads, all right? And even if you don't have both grips, let's say you have just this grip here, uh, your goal is, all, is always to uh, use this leg right here and find the space to place this foot somewhere. You can go in, outside, or even use this foot here to escape the hips this way, okay? It looks like, oh, you know, um, if I escape the hips this way, it's gonna be better for him, but actually not, because he doesn't have this arm. So it's hard for him to move that way. It's gonna be way easier for his arm to move this way right here, okay? So I close this space by just like escaping here. And plus, now I have space to step on his bicep, right? I have space to go under his, his arm. Oh, Professor, he can go for a straight ankle lock? Yes, he can, right? Go for a straight ankle lock, yes. You gotta be aware with that when that happens, right? <clears throat> because, you know, sometimes um, you're gonna think like, oh, I cannot put my foot under his, his armpit. Yes, you can think like that, but even if I don't allow that to happen, he's gonna try to look for that. You see, I gotta be always aware with ankle locks when I'm playing on my, okay? Uh, how do you defend the ankle lock in case like he goes for the ankle lock? Like this, right? My goal right now is to use this leg right here to not allow him to go uh, to the outside. I like to undo the last and then I start pushing his stomach right here. And that way like it's harder for him to bridge. You see, I make him like, I make his butt go away from, from my hip. So every time he can arch his back like up like this, it's easier for him to, to submit you. I cannot turn belly down, because if I do that, this is like a fatality, right? <laughs> my foot is gonna explode. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? So when, when your opponent tries to go belly down, right here, fight to put your foot on his stomach and push him away, you see? So now, of course, it's gonna be hard for you to, to go on top, because he's almost on top of you but work to take your leg out, okay? Of course, there is a way also to turn outside. Let's say if I'm here, I turn this way and then I come up like this, okay? So that's another way, but it's still like he's grabbing your foot. He can work from there. So I need to work in a way that I'm gonna get out from this. Maybe grabbing his triceps, sinking my foot even more to protect the ankle, okay? I'm just showing that because that can happen in the fight. So now you know. So I'm here, okay? Uh, I have one grip, okay? So as I'm fighting here, I grab his, his sleeve and then I go like this, I place my foot here. So now I know if you walk that way, I cannot let him duck under my, my foot, okay? If you walk this way, walk, walk this way, I can push him, okay? And then recover the guard and start uh, having my head like facing this way. And then in the meantime, if he's trying to grab me, I can grab his sleeve and then recompose my guard, even with the other shallow lasso, spider guard, or the La Riva. Once I get the La Riva, I control the pants, okay? So now I'm gonna sink this foot here through, like inside, okay, right here. So I'll do this. Try to posture up, so it's hard for him to posture up. So I need to have this part of my foot in touch with his butt, right in the middle of his butt, okay? And I control the pants right here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, he's trying to stand up, he's trying to like posture up. I'm gonna pass this foot here inside. And I'll use my foot on the floor to slide underneath of him, okay? This is still standing. You see that I have the X guard right now here with a deep last, okay? 
So now what I do, I use this foot here and this leg right here to push him that way. Okay, I'm gonna start like making the sock pulse the hand on the floor. He's fighting to not fall, right? Now the leg that I'm placing outside will pass under the leg that's doing the last. Okay, I make a hook uh, right outside of his hip flexor, okay? Now right here, I gotta start extending my leg and he's starting to react. He's gonna try to put the weight back or towards me, right? And I'll bring my knees to my chest and now I kick the bottom leg through and then I lock the figure four, okay? So once I'm here, okay, I'm controlling him. It's really hard for him to come up. So I control the, the outside leg. I don't touch this leg here, okay? And now there's different ways for me to come up. I'm gonna post my hand on the floor and I'll let go the last. What he's gonna do, he's gonna try to take the hand out. It's up so I can go with the, with the arm under his armpit and then undo the figure four and start knee cutting over him like this, okay? And once I'm here, I'm gonna place my hand on the floor, okay? Control this arm towards me like this or underhooking, okay? The underhook is stronger, but sometimes your opponent will be closing the elbow. You can't get the underhook. Just grab here. Now your knee doesn't go forward. Your knee goes under your leg here, okay? Turn off. So once I do this, now you see I use this part of my butt inside his inner thigh here to open his leg. So I go here. You see, try to lock her leg. So now I can easily pass. You see, a lot of times you're here and you're trying to use this leg here to kick him. And when you're trying to do that, he's gonna bridge you to the other side. And then you're like, oh, you lose the position. Okay? So what I do here, I just put this part of my, my butt and I put my, my butt right here, this side, okay, the right side in, push away so I can pass. So I can feel like his thigh like opening by doing that. And then I can pass the guard. And once I pass the guard, okay, right here, my head is on the floor. Once I do that, I'm not gonna move like this, okay? That's a huge mistake. And I always explain this here. I can never do that because I'm gonna disconnect my hip flexor from his hip flexor. So it's easier for him to recover the guard. Okay? So what I do, I go for re uh, reverse gear. I walk this way. You see, I keep my hip flexor against his hip flexor the whole time. So there's no space. It's kind of like a leg drag. And then I hug his head. Now I try to recover the guard. There's no space between my hips and his hips. Okay? This is very, very important when you pass it as a knee cut. Stand up. Again. So now I'm here. I'm controlling my opponent here. I can use my foot on the floor. If you grab my, my leg right here, I can break his grip. I can go double ass. I can get the X guard, control his pants. Once I control the pants, sink the leg in. Now look, the outside leg, move inside and slide, pose, push. So he's still there, I got the bottom hook. Bring my knees to my chest, and now I kick the bottom leg through. Get the figure four, okay? Another way to, to come up, if there is no space here, hug him, okay? Open your leg. You see that I have the figure four? I open my leg, my outside leg right now, my shin goes in front of his side, here. And then I come up like this. If you try to trap the, the half guard, try to trap the half guard here, no problem. Put my kneecap on the floor and twist and pull his leg to you, passing the guard. And now you're gonna sweep your leg under his armpit. And now you have the side control, okay? It's very important to keep holding that leg the whole time, okay? When you pass it to the same side. So again, at the end of the day, my goal is to get on this position here, okay? Once I'm here, I'm controlling him. Now I go, step one, step two, get under, okay? Put the X guard first, so you can be 90 degrees for your opponent. 
Okay? If your opponent tries to stand up, tries to stand up, just I'm forcing him to put the hand on the floor. And then put the hook. Get the figure four. Hug him, open my leg. Now look at this, this leg right here. I do this. Okay? Because if I don't do that, he's gonna frame. Frame with the arm inside, it's not free. No. Elbow. Oh, like this. Okay? Yeah. So we'll try to frame. So I don't let him frame. Because once he frames, he can find his space. Okay? Then we do a different angle. That's the only technique we're gonna do right now. Okay, and then we're gonna do the specific trick. Okay, so I'm here. One, two, slide, push, hook. Now pay attention to this leg. A lot of people have a hard time right now here. Bring it into your chest. This knee goes around his, his uh, thigh. Look, you see? Don't try to like go under or go like around the shin. It's not gonna work. Your, your knee goes here. Okay, so bring, your, bring your, your knees to your chest so your opponent is on top of you. And if you want to grab the leg, you can do that too with the outside hand, okay? Control. If you want to go to the other side, under hook. Okay, and then go as a knee cut. Use your butt, knee down, use your hip, in, pass, park the car. Okay, keep your hip pressed against it. Common mistake, okay? So when you're here, people hop over like this, you gotta take your back. So you need that underhook first. So once, if you wanna go as a knee cut, you gotta go with your hand under his arm, okay? Or if you can't find the underhook, right here, I suggest you to hug him. And when I hug, I don't hug like this. You see my hand here? Don't do that. Hug the middle of his back. Here. Okay, and then pressure, take your kneecap out. Okay, and then start. Fasten the guard, okay? And even like with this underhook, okay, keep facing, uh, forcing his face towards that side. Turn to me and start, turtle. You see, I'm doing this with my shoulder and I'm grabbing, okay? It's not about his head. If you turn the head towards me, then he's gonna start turtle, okay? So make sure your shoulder is in contact with his jaw. So that way you keep him that way, okay? And now you can block and then go back, under hook, and then start doing whatever you like, okay? Um, I believe for the beginners, the hardest part for for this technique, it's how to set up the sankaku. And the person on top must, must uh, have a good reaction because, for example, if I'm here, you know at the moment that the star is floating on top of me, so I got here, okay, I push, I got the position. When I load him like this, if the star put his hip down, put this part of your hip on my chest, the star, like this. I'm not gonna do the sankaku, see? It's hard for me to get the sankaku here. Go back. Let, let me keep the last one. And do that move, okay? Go. You see, I, I can't get there. If that happens, you feel like he's putting the hip more on top of your chest, you're gonna put your shin here, like behind his, yeah. his leg. And then you start attacking his back, okay? Like this, all right? But usually, what your opponent will do when he's doing the lasso here, so bring me in, yeah, get there. So usually I'm gonna try to flow like, like straight like this, and then you're gonna get this sunk up. Okay, go back again, sir. Go. So now if I start doing this, you start I'm gonna put the head up. Yeah, tight, right? my back like that, okay? And pretty much like when, when the, the person is on top and they turn their hip like that, they're gonna feel like they're gonna get swept. They must like keep like trying to smash because 
the honey hole or four level like works really well when when he's here go your opponent is trying to smash this leg here right and this side will get right there you see and let's say it's hard for you to bring your opponent that way because your opponent put this knee on the floor even though you have the figure four or any figure four inside like this just push me this way and then roll this way and there you go now he's he's on top of me okay but most of the time it's gonna work as the first time that I show you. You guys have any question? No question, right? You guys wanna train? Alright. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three.